Thanks everyone for uh, spending the uh, next few minutes with me. It's going to feel like eternal. <laughs> so, um, Open Source uh, Security Foundation. We are one of the foundations under uh, Linux Foundation, and our mission is to make open source software more secure. How do we do that? We do it through security baseline. So uh, the baseline idea came from uh, last year's uh, Linux Foundation Member Summit. The other inspiration is the um, EU Cyber Resiliency Act, CRA. We all heard a lot about it, and uh, it declared a new role called Open Source Software uh, Steward. The other inspiration was from uh, uh, CISA, the United States uh, Cyber Defense Agency. They declared open source as critical infrastructure. Think about it, it is for critical infrastructure. So uh, how do we approach uh, all these uh, security uh, demands? We do it through a security baseline. We want to set the minimal practical security baseline for software-based projects and uh, so that we can ensure that we have a strong, minimal secure, uh, minimal viable secure product across Linux Foundation, and also for, uh, not only for open source projects, but also for uh, internal uh, projects. So the approach we are taking is, we want to take a risk-based approach. I'm going to touch on, the, uh, on this later. We also want it to be minimal, in the sense that we want to balance software uh, reliability, availability, performance, and security. We also want it to be practical, in the sense that um, we want to make sure that uh, adopting security is not such a huge burden. We all experience that in different industries. So the approach we are taking is we want to utilize the existing technical outcomes there already from OpenSSF, assemble them, and build security incrementally into the software project lifecycle. And also, uh, we want to make the uh, baseline customizable for adoption across Linux foundations. How do we do that? We eat our own cookies first. So we want to establish the baseline in OpenSSF first. Then uh, we want to adopt it ourselves before we can preach it. So speaking of a risk-based approach, I usually uh, use uh, the software supply chain stress model from uh, the SALSA framework. So uh, if you look at it from all the way from upstream, uh, upstream maintainers producing the software to a source uh, repository down to the build system and the package registry to downstream consumers, every component in this supply chain has vulnerabilities especially with dependency management, which is the hardest problem we ever experience. So what I'm showing you here is a draft baseline for the sandbox projects. So sandbox projects are there at their infancy state. How do we manage to build security into it? So we take the approach, uh, we define the baseline, we also define why we are doing it and how the uh, developers or maintainers can implement it. And uh, most importantly, how we verify it's in place. It can be in place at the first place, but it can drift later. So we want to detect it and also correct it. Uh, so we have two baselines here, secure coding, which is the most important at the beginning of the product. If you are building a project from scratch, we do want to say that adopt a memory safe language. Why? It reduces a class of vulnerabilities. And how to implement? We do have some guidance. I borrow it from uh, the Presimo uh, memory safety uh, website. And how to verify? We have some guidance here as well. Around the existing projects, say if you are using C or C++ language, if you are building a new feature or a new component, you can decouple from the existing uh, projects, make it uh, modular. Then our recommendation is adopt memory safe language so that you can reduce the risks 
in your project. Around authentication, uh, multi-factor authentication is critical. We want to protect our credentials from compromise at the first beginning. And uh, how do we do that? Every platform you use has a mechanism to support you to do that. And if you're open SSF projects, we built it into uh, the project as a default feature. So uh, that ends the uh, baseline uh, uh, preaching. And the benefit is, ultimately, we want the uh, baseline to help maintainers to make their life easier, make developers to uh, develop more secure software with less burden, and ultimately reduce the burden from adopting security across uh, every uh, project. So we do that through prioritizing the automation and the tooling capabilities, and also through innovation and the collaboration around uh, all the open source projects. Um, we do have some uh, major events coming. It's in the slides. I know I'm out, uh, over time. So there are a couple of events coming, and we are running a security survey please take a look at it, and uh, we'd like to get your help to make security better through the survey education. Education is a huge part of our foundation's work training. Uh, we just conducted a multiple hour uh, workshop on Celsa and the sixth door. So uh, we'd like to hear your thoughts on that and improve our education and uh, training capabilities. We also are uh, joining the uh, EU Policy Summit in May in Brussels. It's very much in line with the EU uh, policy involvement. Uh, we also have another uh, open SSF conference back in, uh, in uh, Vienna in September. So we hope to see you there. And then the Fusion Conference is also our security um, conference uh, specialized in security in Atlanta in the United States. Uh, the ways to participate with OpenSSF, again, we are uh, not for profit. We are very similar as Linux Foundation. We have different working groups. I heard a lot about AI, and uh, the previous speaker talked about uh, open source. Uh, we have many working groups for you to choose to join to work on different uh, projects. Either it's a specification or it's a software-based project. Many choices. And uh, you can join our Slack channel, follow us on LinkedIn and uh, Twitter. So uh, the other one, yeah, talked about that. Subscribe to our mailing list. We have a lot of materials we periodically send out, especially we send out bi-weekly updates about what's happening in our space. So uh, OpenSSF.org is a major place for you to get the latest update. And if your organization is not a member yet, again, we focus on security. We are the security-centric foundation within Linux Foundation. You get the chance to interact with your peers and with policymakers. Whether you are a startup or your enterprise organization, you will benefit from interacting with different people and exchanging ideas and sharing your ideas like my previous speaker did. And finally, thank you for uh, listening to me, and uh, see you next time. <laughs>